Afternoon on a lovely sunny afternoon in my manor in sunny Tenerife. Just a quick one. Um, Webby Sports Roundup here. Uh, all we're trying to do is bring in some better and more content to try and lift the views and lift the new subscribers. And Terry's come up with a great idea with Andy Warhol stating that uh, everybody gets 15 minutes of fame. So what he's put together is 15 questions. And we started with a guinea pig of two of Tuesday, which is Tottenham supporter, as you know, Foggy. My pal Foggy, my number 99. So I'm so all we're going to do is, straight after this video, you're going to listen to the 15 minutes and 15 questions of Fogarty. Not Carl Fogarty, the motor racing. Oh, man, Foggy. Tony Fogarty. Tottenham fan. He's the guinea pig. Webby Sports Roundup. Terry's asking the questions. We're going to do one or two every week, Terry and Foggy. So it's a bit of a guinea pig. Tomorrow, got another one. Simon, Terry's mate, not for for 20 years. He did the same for him from last Tuesday when we went live in the Moonlight Bar. So all I'm going to say now is comments down below what you think. Yes, no, whatever. Every week we're going to have one or two. Terry and, and Foggy's going to do. So let's see if it goes on. We're just trying to help the viewers. So Webby Sports Roundup here in sunny Tenerife. Let's see it goes. Terry, take it away, big man. Right, here we are. Webby Sports Roundup, new feature, live from the Moonlight Bar in Fania Bay. And with um, Foggy. Uh, so I won't ask you your name because obviously I know no, your obviously name. No, obviously that, yeah. I'll just and, that. Um, basically, as I said, Andy Warhol said, Everyone gets 15 minutes of fame in their life. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you 15 questions. Yeah. So here's your 15 minutes of fame. And what's this called? What we're going to call this? I don't know. It could be fan on the spot in Fat Fan, fan or... in Fan Yeah, I don't know. Fan uh, Bay Fan? I don't know. Fanny? 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 Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Right. This is the first time we're doing this. See how we get on with this. Right. Okay. Who's your support? I'm Spurs. Spurs. And South End. And South End. Right. Okay. What's your fa favourite current Spurs player? My favourite is Madders. I love Madders. I think it's great. For the record, this is James Madison. Oh, James Madison, sorry. Have you got any Arsenal fans watching? <laughs> I hope not. James Madison, yeah? Okay. okay. What's your all time favourite Tottenham player? Darren Anderton. Really? Yes. Honestly, yeah. I used to love watching him. The way he used to spray the ball about when well, he was on the pitch, obviously, because he got injured a lot. But Darren Anderton, I had figurines of him, even though I was old enough. You used to get them, didn't you? I had everything down there then. We get from Portsmouth, didn't you? Yeah, he came yeah, from Portsmouth, yeah. Yeah, Portsmouth, yeah. Down and Andon, yeah. Okay, right. Um, Do one. Best signing for your club? Best signing. Depends, everyone has their day, don't they? See, for me personally, I would say someone like Gareth Bell. But you picked up for peanuts and sold him for but We had him for one year, this geezer, and he was brilliant. He loved the club, he still loves him, Vanderbilt. Oh, the Dutch lad. Yeah. Okay. It was only for one year that he was brilliant and everyone loved him. He loved us and he still loves us. So he played under Redknapp when you had Crouch and yes. Modric? Yes, yes, we had that, yeah. And you beat Inter Milan, didn't you, in the Champions League? We did, yeah, yeah. when um, Taxi for Mike on, wasn't it? Mike, yes, yeah. right back, yeah. <laughs> yeah. In Upper City, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, what's your club's most disappointing signing? You can't pick just one, can you? All that we said. All the Gareth Bale money ones, all of them virtually. All of them. Well, it could be. What's you know what I mean? And yeah, uh, what for? Didn't it? Yeah. Who um, or? Who's another one? Uh, Saint Etienne or something like that. It's, it's something yeah. like that. You know what I mean? And there was some really weird ones. So. Lamella was one of them. Well, Palinho, remember that? that was it Brazilian geezer? Yes, was it Palacios? Pal 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 as well, Wilson Palacios. Yeah, he signed a few there. Yeah, Price so, no, no. Right, okay. Uh, what's the best Tottenham game you've ever been to? Oh, definitely. Uh, it was the FA Cup semi-final, Gaza free kick against them. Oh, 1-0, weren't it? No, it was 3-1. It was 3-1? Oh, went 3-1. Gaston got the first, though. They got the first one. They kicked, we was up this end, because they were kicking down there. And as they kicked, we couldn't see, because obviously they didn't jump yeah, up. Yeah. All I knew is when he started running that way to Terry Venables, going, uh, yeah, right. he tried to and save it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. 3-1 it was. Dave Seaman. Dave Seaman. Yeah, it was Lineker, Paul Stewart and Gascoigne scored. That day. Well, Paul Stewart, we paid two and a half million quid for. Yeah. What's that yeah, sign? Was. And he was big disappointment for us. He was good to Massive Not disappointment. Not of issues that boy. Yes. Yeah. Well, I believe so, late with my... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck to him. Good luck to him. Yeah. Um, okay, what's the best away uh, great, uh, sorry, best away ground you've ever been to, including Europe? If you've done the European away and there's one now. Away ground. Don't actually 
that side, that is. I've been to a lot of away grounds. Went to South End versus Everton. <laughs> Can't say that's the best. But um, Wembley, is that, is that an away ground? Like, well, it could yeah. be, yeah. Yeah, South, I mean, End, South End in the playoff final at Wembley then. So Wembley, Wembley's the best? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah really, I haven't been to a lot of away right, okay. I'm a lazy one. Um, club you dislike the most? Them. Them? Them. Simon, it's them. Them. Can Simon, you them. Okay. You're, you're called them, them. right? I can't okay. say their name. Um, I think I know this one actually. If you've got a sort of second team you follow, um, yeah. who would it be? Yeah, it's South End. South End, which is obviously... We'll be local side. You're local, yeah? Yeah, yeah, only a couple of miles down the road. Been through a lot of trouble, but they're coming back. And Phoenix from the flames, as they say. Still got a few um, issues, though, haven't they? Um, Not really, it's nearly done. And they take yeah. they take so many supporters away every time. They're so loyal, these supporters. Well, they actually do get a lot of West Ham fans they, who, who follow South End, don't they? Yeah, because what I used to do, South End used to play at 7.45 on a Friday night. So all the West Ham would play, uh, go and watch them on a Friday night, then go to West Ham on Saturday. Right, because so I remember Dak and Redbridge were the same. When West Ham were away, a lot of West Ham yes, fans yeah, go and watch Dak and Redbridge. I think a lot of West Ham go to the Lake and Orient. Um, well. Right, OK. Um, I think I know the answer to this one already. Uh, mm -hmm. Fans you dislike the most? Them. Them. Scarlett, who, <laughs> who are them? Arsenal. Oh, right, OK. Um, if you could sign anyone, what player would you like to sign? Oh, wow. Wow, that's a good question. Anyone in the world? I read them. I read them. No, 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 no. I can't put my finger on one. Um, I have Harry Kane back. Harry Kane? I'll have him back. You won't, see you how won't he, win nothing with him, mate. He's a jinx. To, tell to you see this. how he would fit into this system we've got now. I don't think he would. I don't know. Would he be too slow? Or I don't know. I'd... Oh, Harry, mate. Harry Kane. Harry Harry Kane. Okay. Um, if you could have any manager, anyone, who would you like to have? Oh, I've got him. I've got him, Angel. And Poch, that's him now. You have to have him, yeah. yeah? I wanted Poch back. I really did. I thought we were going to get him back. But he's doing a good job at Chelsea, ruining him then. Let him stay there. When Angel's done his bit, then Poch can come home. Right, okay. Happy days. But there again, he didn't win you a trophy. They didn't. Yeah. They got us somewhere. Who'd you play? Nothing. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't Ambo either. <laughs> you know. Yeah, we just one weren't either. <laughs> <laughs> um, I always ask this question when I'm doing this with Webby. Um, in their prime, Messi or Ronaldo? I'm a Ronaldo man. See, I'm disappointed when you're there. I thought you'd be a Messi man. I like a bit of tall fairness and all that. I'm not like me, just like me men, right? You know what I mean? Right, so put down for Ronaldo. Yeah, I'm a Ronaldo. Um, again, this is another question. And I'm he's like Argentinian, to ask. don't forget. Well, no, like, yeah, I yeah. know, but bygones be bygones and all that. I mean, your centre back's an Argentinian, you seem to like him. Ronaldo. Well, no, well, when he's on the pitch. Yeah, well, it's not often, is it? <laughs> no, part timer. Yeah. <laughs> um, Harry Maguire, he always pops up in conversation with me. Would you like him in your team? In the squad, yeah. In the squad? Yeah. Squad player, yeah? Yeah, squad player. Oh, right, he knows okay. what to do. Right. You know, and um, he does well for everyone says it though. He does well for England. He does. And I think Gareth yeah, knows but... how to play. I know you, what you're going to say about Gareth, but... Well, no, I'm just saying with England, we're playing against, like, you know, the Faroe Islands, the Lithuania. I think me and you look good against them. <laughs> we didn't have a bad game, you know did we? I mean, no, that's what I'm saying. So, well, OK, right. Um, do you rate Gareth Southgate as England manager? Um, he's given us more entertainment than others in the last year, so yeah. But you don't think if we had a, a better manager, then we could, should have won a few trophies? Who? I, I, I'm, I want English managers, and we, there's no one... No really good, good English. Well, Eddie Howe, Eddie Howe, but is he going to leave Newcastle? Harry Redknapp, mate. Harry Redknapp. Bring him back, he come was, on. He nearly got it, didn't he? He nearly got it. And then the, uh, no, he didn't. Come he got on. Sacked. Bring Harry back. Come on, I've got a few brown envelopes in Harry, what, and Sam Allardyce and um, Neil Warnock in the back. Yeah, <laughs> bring them all. And Sam, yes, yeah, Sam as well, that's it. Bring him all. Sam, he's on the phone already. Right, last question. I've, I've got to ask this, because obviously it's in the news quite a lot at the moment. What's your take on this financial fair play? <laughs> well, I wish we'd know what what you're actually getting done for. We put it on the table, say, well, you've done that, you get a fine. You do that, you get a fine. No one knows what, what it is. It's just, at the moment, it's just financial play in the air, isn't it? There's nothing set in stone that they're going to get done. Well, this is the thing. I mean, obviously, we've seen everything get done. Forrest and I have been charged as well. Yeah. 
Uh, we'll all get charged then. Everyone will get charged and Luton will win the league. <laughs> so it's just, I can't see, there's no clarity, is there? With the financial fair play, personally, my personal opinion is, I play in the Premier League. Because the Premier League should have sorted this out years and years ago. As soon as it happened. Every year, you present your accounts, you look at your accounts, that's what I've spent, that's what I've spent, this is you sponsoring me, that's how much you're sponsoring me by. Hey, can I see the receipt for that place? Can I see the email? Can I see oh, yeah. that? That's how much they're paying you. This would have been done in 2009. So, But they Premier League want Man City in it because they're a global band. Well, they are at the moment. They yes. sell it all around the world. They want Man City, they want Liverpool, they want the top them in it. They want the Chelsea and that's all they want. Uh, no one else knows that. But they want them in, they want them in the top club. They're not going to try and cut their nose off to spite their face, are they? Mate, well, I don't know, mate. I just... Everton and not the Forest, if they're in or out, does it really matter to the Premier League to them? Do you know what? Being, if I was an Everton fan or a Forest fan, I'd be sitting there thinking, what's going on with City? Because I haven't got an agenda against City. I've said this many, many times. I just think that we all know what's been going on. Yeah. And if you're innocent, prove you're innocent. Definitely. It's 35 times, if not, gone to the FA to answer these, these so-called yeah. charges. Yeah. Not just once, 35. I know. So, it's... I don't know. If you're innocent, prove you're innocent. Well, yeah. Let's move on. There's no doubt they're a great football But they're, they're going on, it's carrying on too long, isn't it? It's... 100%. 100%. Everything so... carries on too long. Yeah. Like, even uh, today, the, um, Everton, they've got three days of uh, summing up some, uh, this week. They won't know for 10 weeks. Which is crazy. Cool. Which is crazy. That's the end of the season. No, no, no. It needs to be done and dusted sooner rather than later. Yeah. I mean, I can't see why it takes so long. Oh, no. I mean, not being funny, you're accused of saying, there's the paperwork, that's all right. Well, it was us, yeah. we'd be gunned straight so, away, wouldn't we? Happy days. Happy days. Day. So, you've done that, you moved that to the end of the didn't you? Yeah, okay, well, you've done that. There you go. Well, I think that's 15 questions. That's a lot. I've got a feeling that is 15. It's so, only been 10 minutes. Huh? That's right, that's enough. It's yes. 15 minutes of fame, but we're doing 10 minutes of fame. So, yeah. Foggy, no, well you're done, my mate. first on this, mate. Cheers, mate. Happy Thank you very days. much. And, um, yeah, we're going to get someone else on soon and uh, do the same again. Funny with Fanny Bay. Happy days. <laughs> Chaz and Dave. Chaz and Dave. <laughs> <laughs>